All new tonight at 10. One more thing to think about as you leave home and as temperatures are heating up, the Odessa Fire Department, they are uh, wanting people to be more aware now more than ever of the dangers that come from leaving hand sanitizer in your car. If it's summertime in West Texas, we know this to be true. It's hot. This summer, just about all of us are leaving home with hand sanitizer. That new necessity mixed with heat is a potentially dangerous combo. Flashpoint, those chemi uh, the chemicals or the liquid, uh, the liquid uh, sends some vapors and then it, with the ignition shorts, which is, is the heat, it can cause it to catch fire. Those vapors come from the alcohol base found in most sanitizers. Leaving large amounts of it in a hot place, like your car, could spark a fire. 80 degrees to 100 temperature outside, just an average. If it's that hot outside, inside your vehicle with the windows rolled up and the, sun, the car directly in sunlight, inside it could go easily from 130 to 172 degrees inside the car. So what's the risk of your car catching on fire? Odessa Fire and Rescue Fire Marshal Michelle Cervantes says it's rare but possible. In fact, the department now rules out hand sanitizer as possible ignition points at car fires. She says storing high volumes and even some packaging, like aerosol cans, make the sanitizer more likely to catch fire. And you might even get the can to where it explodes because it's such a confined area in that can. And then all of a sudden you have a fire inside a vehicle. To reiterate, if you're leaving a travel size container in your car, you're probably okay. But Fire Marshal Cervantes says that it is better to be safe than sorry. Tatum. Tate, thank you. And if you need another reason not to store hand sanitizer in your car for more than a few hours, they say that the heat can actually cause the alcohol to evaporate, making it less effective. Good to know.